Hi, welcome to our Muscat block on this beautiful spring day. The sun is shining, the grass is green, and uh, we thought we would take you to a lower part of our vineyard, closer towards the lake, uh, where the ground starts to level out a little bit, and show you some of our beautiful Muscat that was planted in 2011. And in 2020, we decided to do something totally different from what we've done with it in the past. And we actually decided to do a single varietal, uh, biodynamic, spontaneous ferment, uh, muscat from this block. Um, it's a really cool site. We get really nice acids here. Um, there's some nice airflow, even though it's on the flatter part of the property. And muscat just grows beautifully right here. Um, it likes to hang out next to the bees, next to our weather station. Um, and it's just a piece of our property that's nice and peaceful and, uh, and grows muscat beautifully. So this is an absolutely beautiful off-dry white, really aromatic. Lots of uh, mandarin, uh, lemon, lime, um, orange blossom. Muscat is known for being really floral and really bright, and this is no exception. Even though it's off dry, the amount of acid that is in there makes it taste nice and balanced and refreshing. Um, it's got a little bit of a tannin structure to it, makes it super, super food friendly. Um, on a day like today, in the Muscat block, this wine is absolutely delicious. It really, really hits the mark. All right, well, let me show you around the Muscat block. Uh, over to this side, we have Vic and his bees, a uh, beautiful apiary that we have on site. Uh, the muscat has all been pruned with last year's growth. It's been tied down and we're just waiting for a little more sun and a little more heat. And we'll see green any day now. In the, uh, in the background, you may hear a tractor going. Um, so when we cut off all of last year's growth or do the pruning, we put it into the center of the rows and then we go through with a, a mulcher and mulch it all into the soil so that it adds the nutrients back in. So uh, we're down at the bottom of our muscat that is actually the bottom of our property as well. Um, and we've got a forest garden down at the bottom. Um, a lot of the uh, water and nutrients will flow down the hill and we captured in this forest garden. Uh, this year we're actually putting in a bunch of uh, fruit trees. Um, so we'll have some beautiful fruit grown right on site in the forest garden that'll be served in our bistro. So this was a, a really fun wine to make. Um, we brought the fruit in, we destemmed it. We actually let it soak in the press overnight uh, just to pull out some of the really cool flavors in the skins. And uh, we pressed it off and we put it into a stainless steel tank and let mother nature do the rest. Um, Joey, our director of sales, joined us in the cellar for harvest last year and she is a huge muscat fan. And so every day her and I would taste it to see how it was fermenting. And as the fermentation process happened, we started going, this is really cool. I wonder what tomorrow's gonna look like. And we tasted the next day and go, this is really cool. I wonder what tomorrow's gonna taste like. And then eventually it just stopped fermenting on its own. And we both tasted it and said, Mother Nature knew what she was doing here. It was exactly what we were looking for. So it was just a fun one to watch and a fun one to taste every day. And every day it was just a different expression of muscat. But we think what came out in the end was, was truly beautiful. Well, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the tour of our muscat block and some of the cool things that uh, are around the farm. I hope you enjoy the wine and happy spring. Cheers.